Witnesses say Jeffrey Babbitt was minding his own business in New York's busy Union Square last Wednesday when in broad daylight someone decked him. Was it because of the color of his skin? He said the next white person that walks by, I'm going to his fist went in and the man's head bobbed and he hit the ground and you could hear his skull hitting the ground. Authorities say Babbitt was hit so hard he never regained consciousness. When bystanders tried to help, the suspect allegedly attacked them too. He stood back there and hit two more people and asked for the police to come. Suspect LaShawn Martin is the target of a grand jury deciding whether to charge him with a hate crime. <laughs> Neighbors of Babbitt are devastated. He's too young to die. At age 62, Babbitt was known for lending a hand to anyone who needed it. Most of all, caring for his 94-year-old mother, Lucille, who refused to budge from her son's hospital bedside. I called her on the phone. I said, Lou, come home. She said, I'm not leaving my son. Neighbors now promise to watch over her as police zero in on the suspect's motives. Susan, what do we know about the suspect here? Well, Brooke, first of all, he appeared in court today and got a new lawyer. I did speak with him. He doesn't know much because he hasn't had a chance to talk with his client yet. But he tells me that Martin has not yet received a psychiatric evaluation, and as of now, he has no reason to ask for one. Now, as for a hate crime investigation, the lawyer says he only knows about his client's alleged comment to punch a white person. A law enforcement source says Martin has prior arrest, but for assault, harassment, and drugs. So we'll have to see what the grand jury does. Susan.